Hello everyone, my name is Tai Min Xi, data scientist of LaForge Ubisoft. LaForge is a, is a lamp in Ubisoft, aims to apply cutting edge machine learning techniques to game production. Tonight, I will present you our paper, Regularize the Soft Act Critique for Behavioral Transfer Learning. In this paper, we propose an extended version of Soft Act Critique algorithm, which allows the agent can efficiently partially imitate the demonstrated behavior. Our presentation contains three parts. First, we will introduce the problem we want to solve, then our method for solving the problem. Finally, we will present our experimental results. Introduction In video games, we usually need NPCs complete a task with different behavior styles. Or we need bots can apply expert experiences in ideal environments to real environments to help them complete the tasks as quickly as possible. The two requirements don't need agent to replicate the entire demonstrated behavior, but need to imitate it to varying degrees while completing a task. However, widely used imitation learning algorithms mainly focus on imitating the entire demonstrated behavior. Therefore, there is a need for an algorithm that allows the agent can partially imitate the demonstrated behavior. Our method. To meet this need, we first reformulate a soft act critique algorithm on the constraint Markov decision process. We introduce cost entropy between the agent policy and the policy of demonstrated behavior as a constraint showing in equation 1, where pi d is the policy of demonstrated behavior, which is trained with the samples of demonstrated behavior and an imitation learning algorithm. Ce bar is the expected cost entropy between the agent policy and the policy of demonstrated behavior which control their similarity. The smaller the bar, the more the agent policy is required to be similar to the policy of demonstrated behavior. Then, we incorporate the constraint into objective function by adding Lagrangian multiplier beta, showing in equation 2. The original objective now becomes a dual problem. When we solve the policy, we will obtain a new objective showing in equation 3. Compare it to the original objective of a soft act critique, the new objective has an additional cross entropy term, which can be seen as a regulator. For each time step, after solving the policy, we can solve the beta with equation 4. Then, we can define the regularized Q function, regularized value function, and the policy shown below from equation 5 to 7. Compare it to original equations of soft act critique. The new Q function has an additional cost entropy term, and both the new value function and the policy have an additional policy of demonstrated behavior. Now, we need a reason to use them to allow the agent to learn to complete a task while imitating the demonstrated behavior. The whole algorithm mainly has three parts. The first part is for collecting new experiences. The second part is using the new experiences to update the Q function policy and calculate beta. This part encourages the agent to learn how to complete the main task. The third part is to use the calculated beta and the samples of demonstrated behavior to update the Q function and the policy to encourage the agent to learn how to imitate the demonstrated behavior. Experimental results. We evaluate our algorithm on a Rabbit's video game, which is a casual game developed by Ubisoft. We first define the main task and then define the specific behavior that should be imitated. 
The main task is car number 4, hit directly car number 1. The demonstrated behavior is car number 4, navigates in circles and backwards. The goal of the agent is to imitate the demonstrated behavior while completing the main task. We evaluate our method by setting three different expected cost entropy values of 1.5, 1.55, and 1.6. Figure 1 shows the cost entropy value during the training process under different constraints. We can see that under each constraint, our algorithm can find a policy and successfully imitate the demonstrated behavior. Figure 2 shows the task reward during the training process under different constraints. We can see that our algorithm can find a policy to complete the main task under each constraint. Finally, we show you some demo clips of our result. We first show you the result when we set the expected cost entropy value to 1.6. We can see that the car number 4 navigates back a little bit and then turns to car number 1 and hits it. When we decrease the expected cost entropy value to 1.5 to strengthen the imitation task, we can see that car number 4 navigates back in a half circle before hitting car number 1. You can find more experimental results and information in our paper. Thank you for your attention.